Unusually for Joseph Nightflyer, instead of making him the protagonist of the story, as I've attempted to multiple times in the past, this time Joseph Nightflyer is taking the backseat in someone else's story, as a background character in Sherry Arbor's story. There will be times throughout Sherry Arbor's story where Joseph Nightflyer will be mentioned, other times we'll get to see the Janikan world through his tired eyes, and who knows? Maybe their paths will cross without each other fully realising it themselves. 